Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Wagamama High Spec. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch a previous episode to get caught up. The hero leaves before I can inquire any further. Okay. She could do it if she tried, huh? I guess so, I mean... I mean, she... I don't know. Well, I don't know anything about her, actually. I've known for years that my hero's a type to be precise about everything. Oh. She just never applies herself, so it never really shows in her grades. Oh. Okay. When I asked how she did on her like, entrance exam, she said, I overdid it. No way. For a second, I thought of the prospect that the president mentioned. There's no way it could be her. What? Her what? I'll ask when I get back. Wait, what? I'm confused now. I'm super confused. And that's how we chased it away. After the whole panty accident. After reporting to Sensei, I head back to the council room. I just finished explaining the stray dog incident to Sakuragi and Prez. Ignoring the consultation forms from earlier, I can say I've accomplished my first task as a council member. Yay! It has. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, oh, we talked about the whole uh, animal incident. Oh, okay. Nope, nope, nope. We, we saw everything. I know, but it's the truth. I left out the cow and horse on purpose since I knew she wouldn't believe me. Reality is stranger than fiction. Yeah, that's the weird part, the cow. The cow eats grass, not sure why it was there though. I don't know, I have no idea. Ask my hero. I'd like to know myself. I don't think there are any ponds nearby. Okay, now that's a weird thing then. Ducks live in rivers. They do, right? I did chase it away. It's true. You can confirm it with my witness if you have your doubts. Yeah. Yes. You know her. Right. Actually, there's something I wanted to ask about that. Hmm? The, the, the question is... Actually, I don't even know what the question is. You mentioned something about a freshman candidate. Do you know their name? Oh, that! Oh, okay, I remember now. Perez takes a sheet of paper out of a drawer and examines it. Miyase Mihiro-san. Ah, there we go. That's what she's like. Well, let's think about it. Hmm, if we should join the student council or not. Oh. Top of her class. Knocked it right out of the park. So that's why she said she will drop by tomorrow. She was invited from the start. Oh, her. Uh, yes, that was that was the girl that helped me. I do. She's the one who helped me find the dog. I like I like how they're just really shocked or just really surprised just by me knowing her. You're right. We've known each other for a long time. She's a friend of my little sister. She comes over to play a lot. Yes? Yeah, 
Like me, she has excellent grades. She has a freaking like whole uh She pretty much has like a whole top I don't know how to explain it, just high tech stuff. It's just that she's a shut-in and skips school most of the time. Well, I mean, if she gets excellent grades, I'm pretty sure that's fine. So, so what? Ugh. By being my support, Akaragi's words are as piercing as ever. Although, it would be weird if she suddenly started acting nice. Oh, that reminds me. Hiro said she was coming tomorrow to observe. Really? Well, I guess she's joining then. You don't need to worry about that. It looks like she already has her mind set on joining. President's face lights up upon hearing that. Well, it's probably because, you know, she knows that I'm in there. Hmm. Mentioned observing other clubs today, too. Your encounter doesn't seem like it would suit her. She might join another club she finds interesting. Uh, she... Um, you'll find out. Let me think. She picks on me a lot. That'd be the best summary. I don't want to give a bad impression of her. Let's just go with something simple. You put it simply. She's beloved by animals, I guess. <laughs> Probably wandered in because of her. Well, uh, yeah. Well, you'd have to see it firsthand. Seeing is believing. That's all that can be said about something this absurd. Mm hmm, mm hmm. After completing my report, they dismissed me for the day. I stopped to buy some groceries on the way home. Council made me later than usual, so I have to hurry. Oh, I gotta make food. I'm back. Uh, no response. Business as usual, I suppose. I'll just make dinner while I wait for her to come out of her room. Huh. On tonight's menu, we have croquettes I bought from a deli, some miso soup and potato salad cropped with spinach ohitashi. I have no idea what that is. I don't want to spend too much time cooking, so I'll make Toa's beloved potatoes to appease her. Hey, food's ready! Huh. Toa? Still no response. Wait. Did Mahiro tell her that, um, the school council president is, uh, Mr. Deer? That might be a big problem because, uh, I'm pretty sure she's gonna join the student council too. Oh well, I'll go and get her. I'm coming in. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Huh. Just as expected, I was engaged in her game, not acknowledging me one bit. What, what game? Huh? How long will it be? Perfect, you can eat dinner now. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Well, you can just fight it again, right? I called for you earlier, you know. Oh, come on. What do you want me to do? I have to install cameras in this room or something. Yeah, that's, uh, that'd be kind of weird. Dinner is served. You just died, so now's a good time. Yes. Yep, croquettes and potato salad are waiting for you, Toa. Wow, she really loves her potatoes. Well, you should change your mind quickly. 
What happened to the Kotoa from before? Anyway, food's ready. Come to the living room before it gets cold, okay? Mm. Hmm. Follows me as we make our way to the living room. Oh, that was fast. I see. So, so if you had a boyfriend who just makes potatoes for you all the time, then then you'd be happy. I was the one who cooked the potatoes, though. Whatever. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, immediately digs into the potato salad and croquettes with her chopsticks. Not satisfied. Imo wa ii. I don't get it. Did farmers bring about the genesis of the potato? <sighs> Looks tired. No, no, no. I'm gonna marry Mr. Deer, okay? I'm gonna... Oh, wait. I still don't think I should tell her that. What? No one told me about this. Yeah. Just gonna let that one slide, eh? How'd you know? Wait, wait, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, whoa, whoa, hey! I'm fine, I'm just a late bloomer, that's all. People say there's always a second chance, so I should be okay. Probably. I wasn't suffering a nervous breakdown. I just had student council business to attend to. Yeah, I told Prez I was potato salad in the end. Turns out Prez is actually Mr. Dear Sensei. Uh, Even Toa is surprised by my story. She asked me to join the student council. Yes? Yeah, pretty much. Prez is a good person. Uh, well... It looks like the Prez has the power to choose in some cases. They've been looking for a male member for a long time. It just so happened that I got selected. Hey, Are you gonna join too? Not quite. The vice president is violently opposed to me joining. Though that's probably because of our first encounter. Only because the president does. I'm on probation for a month. I'll probably be a little later than usual from now on. Oh, but I'll make sure to be quick when cooking dinner for you. Uh, that's it? Huh. Doesn't look interested. I guess Toa doesn't care when the housework gets done as long as it's completed. Only Chan's kind of sad now. Hmm, did you say something? Uh huh. I'm confuzzled. Oh, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. It seems like, um... It, it seems like, uh, like I thought, you know, exactly that, um... My sister is gonna join the student council because of Mr. Deer. That's probably it. That's probably it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Waga Mama High Spec. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!